Hi, I'm Peter Brett from Toolkit Magazine, and this week we're looking at the buckler boots. Um, more about them later, but if you see, they come in a nice box, and uh, very down the side, before you buy, you can check. So, for example, made with uh, crazy, crazy horse leather, steel toe, steel midsole, anti-static, for as heat resistant up to 300 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot oil resistant and anti-slip sole and a super tough anti-scuff toe. Well, we'll have a look at all of those as, as far as we can. Obviously, we can't inspect the steel toes or the midsole, but I can tell you that those steel toes are, yeah, pretty well, they're very tough and they certainly provide enough space uh, for your feet. Um, covered with this sort of braided uh, material, which is, um, very strong and anti-scuff resistant. Um, I, I've, you know, most of the time, often well, on on the work side, job side, you can you often see the first bit to go is is the the the, the, the toes of, of boots, and uh, yeah, it's surprising how tough that needs to be. But I suppose for me, the thing that really I like about these boots is the sort of ease of getting them off and on, and this is entirely down to uh, the design of this. Uh, elastic front in the space of where, where laces would normally be and I think also just the general design is it's very well padded for comfort the inside is very you know uh, sort of warm and cozy and it's, it, it's just a very sort of comfortable atmosphere uh, in, inside there even though you know I wore them in quite hot weather um, the upper is made largely of leather uh, twin stitched and then in places where you would expect um, a lot more stress triple stitched around there and a nice big toggle for helping you to pull them on which we'll demonstrate in a little while really like the soles um, they're soft so they've got a kind of cushiony feel for you so you really um, you know they're not hard on your feet and you can be walking around on concrete all day and, and your feet will still feel cushioned. Um, obviously they're resistant to, to all manner of things, which is a requirement these days. But what I also like is, although you've got a grippy sole with all these minor little uh, ones as well as the big pattern of grip and on the toe and on the heel, um, they round it off. So when it comes to the end of the day and you want to get rid of the mud, literally bang them together like that and the mud falls out which is great um, so yeah it's a, it's a big feature because some of those other treads that, that are used on the bottom of boots uh, are sometimes quite difficult to get, get out the most difficult to get out except for the stick or a hose pipe um, I suppose we should demo these just to see how easy they are to get off and on okay we talked a little bit earlier about how the elastic fronts on these boots allow you to get them off and on quite easily. Well, as you can see, my very posh shoes there, I'm uh, doing the usual trick, holding the back of the heel, slip this on, pull the toggle, and your foot is in. It's as easy and as comfortable as that. Um, try and get that one off, slip that on, on, get hold of the toggle, and there you go, it's off and on. The difficulty sometimes can be getting them off. Not usually a problem for the first boot. Let me move those out of the way, because you can just do the standard heel and off it comes. You might think that that uh, doesn't allow you much leeway in terms of fit. And although it, they feel a bit loose for me, and I would cure that by just wearing a thicker sock, but actually they're comfortable loose. You wear a can float around in them. Your heel doesn't come off the back. Um, it does so it doesn't rub and give you blisters on your heel. And it's got a nice comfortable amount of space because so they're very well padded and very well insulated inside. So yeah, I like them. They're really, really comfortable and they solve the problem of work boots getting getting off and on boot work boots off and on. They solve the problem. So great. I like them.